Hi, it's Catherine Nicholson here from the virtual training team. Did you know you can do polling in Microsoft Teams? And did you know that it's super easy, super quick to do? Let me show you. There are different ways of doing it, um, depending on the um, apps or the platforms that you want to use. But the simplest way that we've found is using Microsoft Forms. Uh, you need to download it as an app into Teams. And you do that by clicking this little apps button in the bottom left hand corner of your screen. And there's loads of apps that you can actually download into your Teams. Forms isn't there because we've already downloaded it. Um, but how you can work it if you're in a virtual workshop or a meeting, let's just go back to this, is you open the chat box and find these three little dots here. Can you see? These are where your apps are and there's forms. So if you click on that, I can actually create a super quick form that we then share in the chat box. So what questions should we ask here? Let's go safe with, what's your favorite color? And then we can give people some options and add in extra options if we want. And then we click next. And it's there all ready to go so we can edit it um, or we can send it. And when we click send, I just need to close that box and check out the chat box. There it is. So all that then happens is your participants and you included can vote. Click, vote, and there you have it. We get the results through, simple as that. If you want to create more complex polling forms, then you can do that too. You can do them prior um, in your forms app and then just use the, the link to post into the chat box as well. That's another way. So we often use Microsoft Forms to gather feedback at the end of our session, but we put that in the chat box as a hyperlink that participants can then complete there and then or later on once they've done some reflection. It's a really simple, easy, effective way to use polling in your Microsoft Teams workshops. Have fun. Enjoy that.